Well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be interesting. I am going to attempt my first um, attempt at the evil destroyer worm type thingy, Bob. So, let's give it a whirl. And I'll take more buffs, like so. Look at all those buffs. Whoa! There he is. Come closer, my pretty. Come on, where you at, boy? I bet he's going to stay down there, isn't he? Whoa! Whoa! Forgot about those guys. It's going to be a pain to deal with both at once. Alright, let's try and keep away from home then, because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Alright, let's go back to this guy. I'll get a few along the body, it can help. Would you go away? <laughs> Damn thing. Yeah, this is painful. Okay. Now I seem to be uh, paying more attention. Should be able to get more health potions off of these guys. See, as I'm actually on the ground, that means I can make use of the angry mobs as well. Ooh, melee skills going up. Character skills going up. Getting lost of hearts off these guys. Maybe the corruption wasn't the best place to fight this guy, but still. Just get a few good hits in while I'm getting hurt. terrible damage. I could do have done some more obviously, but it's always the case, isn't it? Oh, melee skills going up again. <coughs> I'm holding my own thanks to regen. And to fight off more of these bloody mobs than anything though. Faster hit speed of this sword. No, keep away from base. Faster hit speed of the sword, but I don't uh, don't have as much range. So for segmented enemies, I think this is still better. quite a bit again. Although looking at the moon, at my DPS rate, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this chap before morning. Which is the problem. Even if I can out-regen him, I don't know if I can out-damage uh, the time. 
Oh, my potions are all gone. Uh, buff. There we go. I'm not paying attention to that. I wonder why I suddenly couldn't see him underground anymore. the healing. Maybe I should have been up on a um, platform. Having to attack all these guys too is getting in the way. What's his health on? No, he's not even halfway. damage in there. Shit. It's not going well. Come on, you guys usually give a lot of health potions, don't you? Uh, parts or whatever. Started too late in the night, or my DPS just isn't high enough. Oh, level 50 though. Excellent. 420 health. I'm not going to have the benefit of leveling up midway through the next fight, though, that's the problem. <laughs> and I maxed out the damage on my gear as well, on my weapons. bugged by these guys. <laughs> Mini bosses attacking you in the middle of boss fights is not healthy. Yeah. Daytime is gone. Damn. Oh well I'll try again next night. Let's go recover. Let's see what my damage is at the moment. Ninety six. Eh. Sorry I couldn't give you guys a better show. I'm going to build a dedicated arena, I reckon. Come on, see you in a bit. Right, well I've been reliably informed that a very good weapon to have in my fight is the glaive. So apparently, I mean, I've been, I've used the Dark Lance before, and that was pretty good. That's good range and everything. So let's see what the Glaive does. Well, that hits pretty damn quick, and it seems to have better range as well. Let's try it out on somebody nasty. So that's 77 damage. My sword is 89, but um, it's buffed up and enchanted and all that. So this is, um, again, one of those things you'd think would be best on segmented enemies. Oops, not paying attention. 
I don't know, it can hit multiple times per enemy as well. It seems. If you get them right. Seems to have a decent bit of knockback as well. That should be useful. <coughs> yeah, that might be very useful for the uh, segments on certain worms. Well, I guess I should gather some supplies and try again then. This will be interesting. Maybe this time I'll build a proper arena for it. Mobs. Don't need to level up in anything, do I? <laughs> How do I ever survive this far being as rubbish as I am? Anyway, um, yeah. I will gather some supplies and see what I can do again. Catch you in a bit. Well, due to financial problems, I've uh, been doing some searching and found a very interesting video on how to make money. And one of the better ways I've found is to make an infinite obsidian farm. Because of that, let's grab a bunch of these. With that, you can. Um, if you're lucky when you're crafting the items, you'll get yourself a um, oh, what should I call it? Uh, an enchanted item with a good prerequisite and give you a lot of money off of that. But I mean, obviously, it's not as likely as it uh, as other stuff. Um, so let's see. I need a couple of them. Couple of them. Oh, run out of wires. Make sure I don't accidentally craft these guys. Uh, what do I need? An anvil? Oh, not got enough iron anymore. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna have to go fucking grind. Oh, no, these guys are back. I've had to keep on um, purifying this area. Because, uh. Oh, I can't change it into that. Because when it gets too near my base, no one can live in my base. Which is not good at all. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do anything to this area, but now I'm going to have to turn it all hallow just to let people still live here. Anyway, iron grinding. Right, so that should be enough iron then. So I've got four outlets, I need two inlets. Perfect. Right, now to grab a load of walling material. I'm sure I had some lying around here somewhere. Well, that'll do, won't it? Unless I can have a, here's one I made earlier moment. Here's one I made earlier. Nice. Alright, uh, let's give this a try then. The layout, anyway. Still quite a lot to do. Uh, yeah, let's do it on top of the house. Just freeze the accessibility. It's a weird little layout. On the video, but it all has its reasons. See if I can get it exactly right. So that goes to there, that goes across to there, that fills in like that. Where is... no, wait, I'm looking at the wrong bloody bit, aren't I? <laughs> I'm building it wrong. OK. 
Okay, so that goes like that. That falls down there like that. Hmm, one sec. Okay. <coughs> so then that goes along there, that goes there. A bit messier than the other side, but still. Gonna need more brick, aren't I? Oh, see if I can reach this furnace from here. There we go. So that's gonna be. Yep, and I'm looking at it wrong again. Genius. And that goes down now like that. And that is like... Nope, that is like... Nope, there! Ah. <laughs> I'll get it right soon enough. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, so that goes down there to there. That goes all the way up to there, which means this goes along here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. So yeah, in case you didn't gather, that's supposed to be higher up. <laughs> I just like to pretend I don't know what I'm doing. It makes people nervous. Be there. This needs to be here. Bingo. And that should be it. Now, all I need to do is wire it all up. Uh, um, <coughs> so, grab a ton of wire and some timers, actually. I need some timers. I believe one of these chaps sells golden timer, uh, golden watches anyway. Oh, who would it be? Blacksmith, he sells gold stuff, doesn't he? Or was he the uh, iron stuff? No, there we go. Buy two of them. And I can make them into timers somehow. But I can't recall how. Where are you, little guide? There we go, five iron. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> Maybe I should make a crab engine. Uh, ah, let's go get the time. Oh no! Stuff's really taking over, isn't it? Right. Crab engine then. So, yeah. Step one in this enterprise is you need yourself a crab statue, which I was happy enough and lucky enough to get earlier on. And you need a nice little area like this that's too high. Crab statue there. Something like that. Make it nice and basic, shall we? Because if I'm only going to have one crab statue in here, I just I need some tweaking. Uh, let's see. I can get it there. I think that's pretty much it. Let's get some switches. This little miss engineer. That'll do. Okay, 
so we want one of these down here and we want a lever on the wall we want a lever on the floor right what I don't have at the moment is my wrench and stuff where did I put them? did I buy any? pretty sure I did at some point oh well I'll be buying some more then you'll be getting some more of my money young lady Two gold. I don't have two gold. It's these bloody things, isn't it? Um. God sick. Oh, I want to keep that. Oh, what to sell? Oh no, it's gone night time again. I was hoping to uh, use that. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> Places wire. Also need nine gold to remove wire. But that'll wait until I screw up. Okay, that should do that. Come this way, you nitwit. Why is it jumping all the way back up? Come on, over here. Arr. Usually they're more obedient than this. Right, that does it. Gotcha now. There we go. Oh, I screwed up. Oh. Well, now I probably need two gold, don't I? Plus a load more for wires. Okay, well that's that side. That needs to be lava, but I haven't got any at the moment. Let's dump all this water so I've got more inventory space. Yep, 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 that's fine. Probably shouldn't have made this many buckets. Waste of good iron. I'm going to need to get a lot of lava from down below. Okay, so that'll do for that. Oh, I need something to sell. That won't be enough. Oh, I've got two of these. I'll sell one of them then. Four gold. Yep, that gives me enough. Hey, you. Right, what have I got? I've got the wrench, so I need the wire cutters. Whatever else I can afford of those, which is not many. Damn it. What else can I sell? Bunch of voodoo dolls. How about that? <laughs> That's better. Might be enough. More than likely not. Especially not of my terrible wiring skills. Then again. Okay, and um, blammo. Now that should fill up and create more and more um more and more water because there's a little loop bug in this thing that does that but now I need to go find some lava I, uh, I think the crab will vanish when I'm out of range so uh, that should be safe got a very full inventory poke 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 cool there we go Job done. Let's 
scoop to the top. Right, what next? Dump the lava. Okay, and get the crab thing going again. Let's dump all these buckets. Don't need them now. In fact, now that I've got a crab engine, I don't need these bloody watchers, do I? I'm wasting my mats on them. But still, life is a learning experience. No, I crossed the wires, didn't I? Oh no. Uh be right back. Right, my plan is then to finish off the other side of this wonderful little crab thing of me, Bob. In fact if I do it right. Okay. Hey you. Give me another pressure plate. Good girl. Okay, so that'll go in there, that'll go in there. That'll be fine for all of that. Okay, cool. Now I'll need this to go up and over. Cables, because I'm doing it in a really shoddy way. Well, that's all my money, is it? Damn it! Keep running out of money. Now do it. Yeah, that should do it now. Might as well keep lava on that side for now. Okay, you get in there. Bingo. Right now, let's release another one. Good enough for me. So we've got lava flowing now. Although I should probably get rid of that obsidian because it might cause a blockage. Right, let's go grab a bazillion buckets of water then. <laughs> Good thing I didn't decide to sell all those buckets, to be honest. Whoops. How the hell did I manage that? <laughs> Guess you can wear buckets then. Now the video did show using two of those for each, so... Curious. Damn it! Alright. And we just need to keep an eye on it. And never leave this area again. 
Let me skip ahead. Okay. So that's almost finished now. We're all filling up nicely. Now then, let's give this a try. Cool. That works nicely. Well, it's not quite the same way it was working on the video. And that's rapidly using up the lava. Let me go check again. Uh, righty. Um, I think I know what's wrong now. Let me see if I can fix it. Uh, I need to get rid of that water in there. Buckets, what am I talking about? Cool. Okay. Uh, I need to reverse the layout they've got on the video because of the way the lava's working. The lava needs to land on top of the water. So it'll have to come through there, like that. Uh, let's have a look. So that would need to be there, that would need to be there. So water will go underneath there, the lava will come on top there. Okay, although that's using up the water rapidly still. Uh, maybe I just need to make a very big tank and then do this occasionally. <laughs> well, I've got a load of obsidian. Let's go craft some stuff with it anyway. Uh, where are we looking? Scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, where is the damn thing? Oh, guide. There it is, 20 obsidian skull on a furnace. Uh, there we go. That's got a nice boost on it already. Uh, let's get rid of all these damn buckets. Gotta make sure I don't go off screen from those guys up top. Right, okay, another skull. All positive benefits so far. And you may notice my crafting level is benefiting from this as well. Hey you, buy these. Well, they're like a gold each, it's not bad at all. Or more if you get a good one. Right, let's drill through some more then. <laughs> I think they might have fixed whatever bug exploit was making this infinite the last time around. But it's still a nice method to get a lot of obsidian, because you do get infinite lava and infinite water. Just need a bigger tank backlog, I think. Mana, 4% movement speed, 4% crit, nothing. I was doing well then, I thought I was on a roll. So the base price is 80 silver, so 1.3, 1.15, this is bloody good, isn't it? Loads of gold, although it's a, uh, not the greatest method, but it's still good. How much is 10 obsidian worth on its own anyway? Without the crafting. I know the crafting gives you cooler stuff, but still, 40 silver. So if I instantly craft one of these chaps... Oh wait, it's more than 10. Twenty. So it's worth exactly the same, but when you craft it you got a chance to get more money. Because of the... Uh, modifiers. Oh. Well that's good then. Right, so catch you guys in a bit.